Hey there, Tyler Levin at Visual Intelligence. Uh, Visual Intelligence is a Tableau consulting and training company, and we are creating YouTube videos to help you out and hopefully uh, get you going in Tableau quickly. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about Tableau's image roles. Um, these are a, a very new topic within Tableau. Um, you, are, you were able to do images within Tableau using uh, kind of URLs, um, but now there's an actual data type called image roles, which makes things super quick and super easy, um, and it's very helpful. Um, so in this video, we're going to go through three different scenarios and then kind of put them all together and show you how to do it and all the, li the limitations of different things that you can do with it. Uh, if you want to follow along, you can download the uh, data file that I showed you how to kind of do the data modeling for this. Also the Tableau workbook so that you can follow along with the exercises. Um, so you can download, download that below. Now, there is some limitations um, or rules when it comes to doing this. Um, you need a PNG file, a JPEG or a JPG file. Um, you only can do up to 500 images um, in a visualization. Um, and that's probably just because, you know, you got to re render 500 images. Um, you have to have it in a public place so that, you know, anybody can access the, the data or anybody can access the actual images. Um, it has to be a HTTP or HTTP. Yes, um, you know, beginning to that website. Um, there's a lot of different websites you can do to, to, to put images on. Um, I use just my website just because I had, you know, hosting there. You can use like AWS. Um, there's a whole bunch of cloud providers that you can do. Uh, it just has to be public. So any phone, anything you you access that link, it has to be public so the Tableau can get to it. Um, and the, the file size has to be under 128 kilobytes. Um, so if you satisfy all those, um, then you're able to do it and it's super fast. All right, so uh, once again, we're gonna do Tableau image roles. Uh, we're gonna do three different examples and we're going to do all that together. So download that workbook um, so that you can follow along and also please subscribe and like and comment on this video uh, if you have done any of uh, the image roles or, or kind of have some cool ideas of how you could use image roles. Uh, I'll be interested of hearing it and seeing it if, if, you, if you got examples in Tableau Public or something. All right, let's go ahead and get ready. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is look at the data um, because more than likely your, pro your data is probably not in the right structure. Um, generally, you know, you're going to have, you know, multiple, this is like Excel, right? You're going to have um, multiple uh, or possibly one, you know, file that has just your, your actual data, right? Your KPIs, your dimensions, your measures, all those, right? Um, you're going to have to bring in the URL data, the, the images data, um, in order to in order to, to visualize the data. Now, first thing that I did was I created a kind of like a crosswalk where I have a company ID, I have a company name, and then I have the image URL. Like I said, you can use a lot of different providers to get a, um, a, a image URL. You're going to upload it into the cloud somewhere and get the URL. Make sure it's, like I said, a PNG, JPEG, or JPG um, extension. Um, and then you're going to put it here. And so you just usually you just put it generally just a URL. Okay. So I created this this crosswalk kind of you know image um, tab here. And then with a company ID, if you have company IDs already in your data, great, just follow that. If not, then um, you just create a company ID column and then put the same company ID depending on um, which company it is. So I added a, an extra column here, put company ID there, extra column here, put company ID here. Now, uh, for one of the examples, we're also going to do a product. So I did another crosswalk with the company ID and the product number. So I added a, a ID field for the product because each company is going to have multiple products, which will be different images of products. Um, and then for that data source, I added a product ID. So you might have to do some data modeling to, to add the, the image in there. Um, if your image is already in your data source, perfect. If not, you might have to do a little, little bit of scrubbing. But the this is the data file and I put it in the um, in the download so you can have this also you can see exactly what I did all right but this is the source that we're doing it and once again just remember you have your image uh, URLs in here uh, it's HTTPS or HTTP and the extension needs to be a PNG JPEG or JPG 
Okay, so let's jump into the dashboard. All right, this is also the image role starter uh, workbook. So that the file that was in there is already here for you. Um, let's just go through looking at the, the data relationships. Um, all this is done also, but I just wanna kind of show you. So you have the company, um, the company, Excel cross tab and I'm linking it to their sales which is linked by a company ID I'm linking it to their product which is um, linked by company ID and then the product pictures here is linked to the data for the products and this is by company ID and product ID all right so this data modeling is already done for you but I just want to show you kind of the back end just in case you need to to create your own crosswalks for you and for for your data and bring it in all right so that's all done. All right, now let's get into the, the big part of it. Now, we're gonna do three different uh, examples here. Um, the first example we're going to do is looking at uh, competitors of our company, okay? And we're gonna kind of build out like a three-page report, um, you know, with these three different examples. So, uh, first thing you're gonna do is actually this file, once you upload it, this is gonna actually be just a string and it's not gonna be any damage roll. So this is the, the starter file, so it's already done, but it's normally gonna come in like this and it's just gonna be an ABC. Um, to change it, you hit the drop down and you have this new image roll. Now this is on the newer version, so make sure you have the most recent version um, and you're gonna have image roll and you're gonna have URL. Okay, so once you change it, now it's going to be a image icon, which is saying that it's a tableau image role now, which is really cool. So now we can use this just like we use everything else. Now, if you're having any problems with, so if we bring this out and bring it over here, if you're not seeing images here, then check that list that I told you. Make sure um, it's a PNG, JPEG, or JPG file. Um, it is, um, you have less than 500. It's under 128 kilobytes. Uh, it has, starts with HTTP or HTTPS. Check that data source file. So it's generally one of those, which is why. Um, but your, your picture should show up here. I'm gonna go ahead and tire view real quick. They'll show up here. Now, I did resize my images before. Um, so I made all my images 300 by 300. Um, once again, there's many different online things you can do to resize your images. Um, I use Snagit to um, to create this so that I kind of centered and move everything around so it's a lot cleaner. Uh, but you'll probably need to resize it, um, your images in some type of way so that they're all consistently looking the same, okay? Um, so. I resize mine once again, 300 by 300, but it's kind of depending on what you're doing on what kind of size you want. All right, but as you saw, as soon as I brought over that image field, all my images came up. Um, you can bring over company name. You see the companies, but we already got the logos, so we don't need that. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it and build our first thing. So we're gonna look at the images. Um, so these are all of our competitors. Um, we'll, we'll act like we are visual intelligence consulting, right? And then this is competitors. Um, let's bring over some sales information. So let's bring over our sales price, which will give us our total sales. And let's do a bar chart. Good old bar charts. All right, so from there, let's go ahead and go back to entire view. Uh, I'm going to hold control to bring over my sales price into my labels. And I can see my uh, my my numbers now. I'm going to go ahead and 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 um, sort it. Do some cleaning up. I did some I did um, I matched the bars of the, the 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 bar color to like their logo color. So, I'm going to hold control and put the image dimension into color. And you'll see I picked the colors already. Um, if you're doing this from scratch, right, it's not gonna be able to be done for you. So you just pretty much just go in here, pick the color for each one. Um, I did like pick color and then did the logo, but it's already done for you. So you don't gotta worry about it. Uh, but I thought that was kind of a cool little thing to do is match the, the coloring of their logo. Uh, so from here, let's clean it up some. I'm gonna get rid of this little image label right here. I'm gonna get rid of the headers here. And I'm gonna get rid of the, um, the dividers right here so or the grid line so right click format columns grid lines keep it nice and clean um, and let's go ahead and, and make the font a little bit bigger too let's make that a 15. all right so you see how <laughs> super simple that was right so let's do a sales comparison 
All right, so you can bring in logos and create things like bar charts, uh, text tables, you know, different visualization that would make sense. Of course, not all of them make sense, but this one's a good one where you can see, you know, instead of a, just a name, you can see the actual logo. Just make sure, like I said, the sizing looks good. You might have to edit the sizing some using something like Snagit um, so that all the sizes look good. They're centered in the middle and all that. Um, but if you, you know, make sure your images are nice before you bring it in, you don't have too much work to do. And it looks pretty cool. All right, so we got this first one. We're going to do another one. All right, so now let's bring in, um, this is gonna be uh, from our products. So how I kind of structure the data, is each company has different products under it. So I'm gonna bring in, let's see, product ID. It's like it came in as a measure, but it's really a dimension, so I'm just dragging it, dragging on top and here. And you'll see each company has some different products and uh, each of the products have different um, different URLs. Now, once again, this is already a Tableau image role. If you need to change it, you just click it, but we'll bring it in just so we can see what's going on. And then you see each of them has its own image that I just grabbed um, and it has an image for each product for each company, right? Um, so we're gonna do just another simple bar chart. I'm going to get rid of the product ID, put the image here. Um, and what we're gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna try to create a cool dynamic report um, where you're gonna filter. So we got one of the, the four uh, one of the four companies and you can see all of their products. You can see the comparison. And then also I'm gonna do a, a front page where the, the logo dynamically changes depending on the filter. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. But right now I'm at a filter for a company name. So I'm just right click, show filter. And let's just start with one at a time right now. See, so like we got Amazon. Let me change this. We got Apple's products, visual intelligence products, visual survey products. So I just kind of grab some some screenshots and, and just put it in here for example purposes. But you have each product for each company. Um, so when we're going to do another bar chart, we're going to do, uh, let's see, let's do profit in the ABCs. Show me bar chart. And I'm also gonna put company name in my uh, color so that the bars are all colored by the company name like it was before. So I'm gonna hold control, put that in the colors and they should change just like they were in the others. Perfect. Uh, let's go back to fit entire view. Looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and sort. Let's add some data labels, hold control, grab some of profit, put that into labels. Let's make this 15 also, so we're consistent. Let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of this header. Let's get rid of these column uh, grid lines. Let's get rid of this label here, and let's just kind of look at it, see how it looks. All right, looking good. All right, so this is gonna be, uh, what's this, profit by product. All right, let's do another one. And let's go ahead and right click uh, company name also, because we're gonna do a, um, it's gonna be a, like a title page for this report. Um, let's see, where am I? Right click, where is show filter? Show filter's not popping up for some reason, so I'm gonna go here, drag it in there. Good old tablet goes crazy sometimes. All right, so we got the, the company name filter. Let's grab images. We're gonna drag that in side. Go ahead, let's do entire view. Now, you got this ABC problem that you kind of, you probably ran into a lot when you're creating like text tables and stuff. I usually just create a calculated field called blank and it's literally just 
blank. <laughs> I just put two quotation marks. Um, and then I'm gonna put that into my text just to get rid of that ABCs. All right, uh, probably have to play with this some, especially depending on your size of your image, so it's not super pixelated and all that. Um, but we're gonna be floating this anyway, so it's all right. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oop, not that. Right click and uh, hide field labels. Let's get rid of these column uh, dividers. So right click, format. Let's go grid lines. Actually, row dividers. Okay, and we're just gonna call this uh, this company logo, and we're gonna actually use this on uh, multiple dashboards. But all right, we got company logo. Um, let's also sync this with the product. So I'm gonna right click, add to company, add to uh, worksheets, select worksheets, and it's on this one. Let's also sync it on that one, so that when we change this. So I go like Apple, this changes to Apple or changes to Amazon, right? This changes to Amazon. So they're synced and this will make more sense in a second. Okay, so we got our, our three worksheets. We're gonna put these into three different dashboards because we got more formatting options. Uh, so let's do a dashboard. We're gonna go ahead and leave it to a desktop browser. Um, we're going to put in some text. I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, market research report. All right, let's do, I'm going to do annual market research report. Uh, I never know how to spell. I really wish Tableau had autocorrect. All right, I'm going to make this like a 36. I'm going to say this is what well, currently I'm in April. All right, and this is, I mean, this is however you want to do it. I'm just kind of playing with it right now. Maybe make this a 24. All right, so I'm gonna do something like that. Um, this is just, you know, you're gonna format this however you want, but I'm just kind of just playing with it. But essentially, we're just making a title page, okay? Um, and then let's do something like that. You can do colors, however you want to do it. Um, I'm gonna now bring in the logo. And I'm gonna float the logo. Let's get rid of this title. And you're gonna have to play with this a little bit, but I'm gonna do a single, uh, single value drop down. Uh, and also, I want to pick only one at a time. So I'm gonna do customize and show this. Now, you'll see what we're doing in, in more in a second. Um, but we're gonna make this report. And essentially, we're gonna change a filter here, and then all of our, our, not other than our sales comparison, but our other dashboard will filter based off of this. And we're kind of creating like a, a, a report if we're, we have multiple clients and we need to create a report for each client. We can filter the data, print out that report or send it and do that, you know, and have one dashboard. Uh, or one workbook, you know, have the data for all the clients, but just be able to filter. And then the logos dynamically change on the reports um, and all the data changes. Now we could do this with this manual filter here, or we could do this with the user filters if you have Tableau Server, uh, and that's pretty cool. That's actually a real situation I did where someone will log in to a company um, to our portal and it will dynamically filter to that company's data and also switch to that company's logo. So instead of having, you know, 20 different workbooks with uh, with the company's data and managing 20 different workbooks for 20 different companies, I had one workbook that the logo dynamically changed depending on uh, which company, you know, which user from which company logged in and also their data changed. So I just had to manage one workbook uh, with the data and it just dynamically filtered the data and the logos in this situation by a user filter in Tableau Server. So if you don't know user filters, Google that. Uh, it's not that hard as a Tableau Server thing. Um, but we're gonna, since we don't have Tableau Server for this example, we're just gonna do a, a, a manual filter like this. All right, so I'm looking, I'm gonna go ahead and you can kind of move it how you want, depending on how, like I said, how you, how you sized it. All right, so we do that. This is gonna be just our uh, title page. Let's do a, another dashboard. Let's put our sales comparison in here. I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of this. 
and I'll call this else comparison. Sales comparison dashboard. I already got a, a that name used. Let's create another one. Let's put in uh, our profit by products. Now we already have this filter synced to the title page filter, so we don't need none of this. So if you see right now on our title page, we have Amazon. We have Amazon information here. Um, but if we go to like Apple, we got Apple information here. So we have that title page and then it changes from that. Now I'm going to want to also add the logo up here just so we know what we're looking at since we're going to kind of be going through pages. Uh, I'm going to hide this title here. I'm just going to put a, a blank at the very top just to give me a little bit of gap. And I'm gonna use that same company logo sheet that I had, and I'm gonna just float it over here in the corner. Get rid of that. Resize this. I have to play with this a little bit, just because mine is 300, 300, so I got a lot of blank spaces around. Uh, but now you got the, the logo there. So now if I change this to, let's do, I know, visual survey. Change the visual survey, all right. Um, and this is just a uh, product overview. Okay. All right, so now we have our three. So we can pick uh, our client. Let's say, all right, we're looking at Apple. Here we are. We can see where Apple is compared to the other ones. And then we can see Apple's um, products here. All right, so this is kind of a how to create a dynamic report using the logos, how to use the images um, to be able to use an image instead of just saying Apple Watch, iPad, and all that, which is kind of cool, right? Um, and then once again, you can either use a, a kind of title page with a filter like this and sync it, uh, or you can use user filters if you want to be, you know, more advanced and, and be more dynamic in that scenario. But these are just some examples of how you can use image roles. I mean, there's the sky is a limit with what you can do, but it makes it super easy now that Tableau has a data type called image roles. All right, well, that's it for this one. Hey, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Um, like I showed you, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, it's kind of you using your creativity to figure out, you know, the, the cool di different ways of, of doing this and using this. Um, uh, there is some, you know, some data modeling stuff you gotta make sure you got right. But overall, it's a really simple, um, really simple feature. And, and it's really cool to use uh, because, you know, you can do some creative stuff with it. Um, uh, we are doing, like I said, all these type of tablet tutorials. So please subscribe. And, and like the video um, and stay tuned for some more videos coming up. All right. Thanks, you guys.